Keto Queen. I hope you've had a great Monday, a wonderful start to this new week. We are making one of my favorite side dishes. This one is my favorite way to cook it. Now, I love Brussels sprouts. Do you guys love Brussels sprouts? Hey, Jenny, how are you? So we have started this up. All I've done is cooked up some bacon. I just chopped it up or cut it up small, little small bite sizes. We fried this bacon. I'm using two tablespoons of bacon and two tablespoons of butter that are hot on my stove right now. And we're gonna go ahead and throw in our Brussels sprouts so we can get this cooking. How was y'all's Monday? I hope it looked great. Mine was busy and it was awesome to be back home at work, but busy, busy, and I'm always thankful for it. It could be slow, slow. I don't wanna be slow, slow. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn this down on about medium heat to cook it. This is not gonna take but just a second. I just wanna show y'all how I mix this up because me and my husband have some business to discuss. I hope you've had a great day. And what are y'all doing for dinner tonight that's low carb or keto friendly? Hey, Adam, I haven't seen you on my live videos in a while. Hey, Janet, Tiffany. behind me. I'm going to let him clean y'all. He can be as noisy as he wants to. Hey, Char. Hey, Taylor Lindsay. Look, Taylor, I can't remember if you've done this recipe before, so you're going to have to test out this. I know you've loved my other uh, side dishes. This is one of my favorites. This is a creamy Parmesan Brussels sprout. So delicious. So we've got two tablespoons of our bacon grease where I fried up a few pieces of bacon and two tablespoons of butter, really hot. And then I added in my Brussels sprouts. So I'm doing like your fresh Brussels sprouts you'll get above the cabbage in your produce section. They come in a little bag like this. I just wash them and cut them in half. And then we're just gonna saute these for a couple of minutes in this bacon grease and butter. When they are sauteing just a few minutes, you don't wanna cook them all the way. We're just cooking them a little bit because we are gonna add some awesome ingredients to this and then put them in the oven. So just a little bit, maybe five to seven minutes you just wanna cook this around. They'll start to brown a little bit, but they're not soft, okay? Just cook them for about five to seven minutes in this butter and bacon. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and start putting a little salt and pepper on them. And if you have any uh, garlic, like minced garlic, you wanna add the minced garlic in here after it cooks for about two minutes. I don't have any. I haven't been to the grocery store since I left for vacation. So I'm just gonna use some garlic powder. So we're just gonna throw some garlic powder on top of these Brussels sprouts. I love garlic, so the more the better as far as I'm concerned. Is that that uh, refrigerator ship they gave you? Yeah. That fits, that's pretty awesome. Uh, that's still good. All right, so I'm actually gonna add a little butter in here because this is an old skillet and I don't want it to stick. So I'm gonna butter, we're gonna do that butter. Here it is. So right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and add another tablespoon. Uh, if I had some more break, bacon grease, I would use that, but I poured it out already. The more butter, the better, right? All right. Hey, Polly, Kathy. Very loud behind me. Sorry, guys. Taylor says she has made this one so good. Yummy, yummy. I love it. So we're making some. Um, uh, we're making. We're making some pork steaks. I got pork steaks in the oven already. I just put them on a baking sheet and salt and pepper them. I put a little steak seasoning on them. And they're just gonna bake in the oven on 375 for a good 20, 25 minutes. They're pretty thick pork steaks. And they'll be done. So I mean super easy meal. So for this recipe, you only need a couple of things. You need some heavy cream, you need some mozzarella cheese, you need some Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper, your little bit of bacon, and your Brussels sprouts, and that's it. Ricky's working hard cleaning this refrigerator shelf. We had to get us a refrigerator shelf today for our work refrigerator because we're getting some COVID vaccines. And the state requires so many crazy regulations, so we have to have an extra shelf. So Ricky went and bought one. So he's cleaning it and getting ready to cut it to size to fit our refrigerator. All right, these are looking really, really yummy. They're 100% not done. We have not been talking for five or seven minutes. But while we're waiting on these to saute a few minutes, let me know if you guys have any questions. Regarding low carb or keto, we had a great time away from the home this week. It was my mom's birthday on the 31st, and she wanted to go to Branson, Missouri to watch uh, the Jesus play at the Sights and Sounds Theater. Guys, 100% recommended. If you can get to Branson, Missouri, that was an amazing show. They play it, from what I understand, they have different plays they put on. 
uh, and they do them, they swap them out every year, so it's like from um, this month to, you know, to the end of the season, and the next year they'll play a different one. So I personally hope that they do something different. Uh, I would love to go back just to watch that. It was awesome. It was definitely worth the drive just to watch that play. That's how good it was. So if you can get to Branson, Missouri, I highly recommend you watch the Jesus film, the Jesus play this year. My mom and dad have watched Jonah and Moses, and they, they said both of those were awesome. But the, um, not even kidding, like the, the stage setup was amazing. Oh, my gosh. There was so much time put into just the decorations and the staging for this play. It was so, so good. So, anyway, we went on a short little trip to Branson for my mom's birthday, and we thoroughly enjoyed it. But we're glad to be back home. I ate really good as far as following my keto diet plan the whole time I was gone except for the last day. So that last day, I told you guys, I had some of my husband's pancakes. I had, yes, I did, some of my husband's pancakes. Not a whole lot, but I had some pancakes. I also had uh, a little bit of a um, um, cinnamon roll that my aunt ordered, uh, or my mom ordered. And then what else did I have? Oh, I had a donut that day. I mean, I like really went like on a sugar crazy place. Like, I have no idea why. I'm just like, it's the last day. I'm going to go ahead and have these pancakes because they tasted really good. So what I've done today and yesterday is I have been fasting. So I love my keto nat drinks because not only do they give you all the energy and appetite control, but they really help you fast so that when you make those choices, which was a choice for me to have those pancakes and that donut, that I was able to just move on with my life. Um, still keto, yes. Still keto. Just because I did that doesn't mean I'm not keto anymore. I'm still keto. Right back following my very low keto, very low carb uh, counts. Having some amazing dinner tonight. I told Rick, I was like, I need some vegetables. Like, I'm craving vegetables because we went to Branson and we had a lot of, we had burgers. I did bunless burgers. We had a steak night. Uh, I can't remember what all we did, but I was like, I want to get home and make some homemade vegetables. <laughs> so that's what we're doing tonight. All right. Okay, so I love the Keto Nat. If you guys want information on Keto Nat, just put info in the comments and I'll send you some information on Keto Nat so you can feel how awesome they are. All right, so now we're ready to go ahead and put in a few more things. I am going to um, turn this up. I don't know why I turned it off. Like I'm crazy. It's Monday and my first day back home. So normally when we travel, we come home on Saturday. That way we can rest Sunday and like get prepped up and ready for work. But no, we came home on Sunday. And we had a great afternoon of being lazy, but it did not feel like Monday today. Because <laughs> we were gone and on the run the whole time we were gone. All right, I see a lot of friends on here. What are you guys doing for dinner tonight that's low-carb or keto-friendly? Just curious what you're doing. We're making one of my favorite side dishes. It's a creamy Parmesan Brussels sprout. So far, all we've done was take um, some bacon. So I, I cut up some bacon. We cut some, cut up, cooked some bacon. I kept two tablespoons of the bacon grease in my skillet, and I added two tablespoons of butter. Got that really hot, and then we just threw in our fresh Brussels sprouts. I always cut them in half, so you'll see they're burning a little bit, getting a little sauteed. And we're just sauteing them for about five or seven minutes. I put salt, pepper, and garlic powder in them because I don't have any garlic. And that is making my eye scorch, or my, not my eye, my pan. So I added another tablespoon of butter so they won't stick. So at this point, we already have the salt and pepper. We're going to go ahead and add in our cream. So we're making a creamy Brussels sprout, creamy Parmesan Brussels sprout. Now, when you do your heavy cream, just do a little at a time. The recipe I'm going to post for you later, I think it says to do a whole cup and a half. I just pour a little in there and stir it around. And you just want this heavy cream to simmer. You want to get it, uh, you want to make a, a thick kind of sauce. So if you put a lot of heavy cream in there, it's going to take a long time to simmer. We don't want to cook these all the way through because after we mix all the ingredients, we're going to put them in the oven so that cheese gets really good and melty and bubbly. It's going to be so good. Uh, so just do a little bit at a time. That after this starts to thicken up when it simmers, you can add more. and you can get it thinner. You just can't get it thicker in a hurry. So just a little bit of heavy cream at a time. Now, if you want it really watery, go ahead and put a cup and a half. <laughs> Don't take my advice. But if you want it thick and creamy, just a little bit at a time. If you want to use a measurement, I'd probably say, you know, um, half a cup. And then if you need to add some, just add a couple of tablespoons at a time until you get the thickness you want. So I don't know what I poured in there because y'all saw me, I was just pouring. But this is not a whole lot of cream, but it's not barely even cooking either. So it's not thickening up at all. So we're going to let it cook for just a couple more minutes and then I might add some more heavy cream to it. So is anybody cooking tonight? What are y'all doing? Uh, Ricky actually asked for bacon sandwiches, which was 
sounded great to me because you know it's very little bit of cooking but i was like i really need some vegetables or i, I miss my homemade food <laughs> since i've been out of town so i want to come home and get some vegetables cooking all right i definitely want to add a little bit more heavy cream because you'll see it is cooking down it is getting a little thicker but i want it to be a little creamier than that so we're going to add just a little bit see what i mean just a little bit at a time stir it in let it simmer and get a little thick and then decide if you want some more or not we're not done though. This is just our uh, creamy sauce we're making with salt, pepper, and garlic. All right, I've got uh, pork steaks in the oven. Turn this around. We just got pork steaks, making it super simple. We just salt and peppered them, put a little bit of uh, steak seasoning on them. They'll be done in about 20 minutes in the oven. I got my oven on 375, which we're also gonna use for our uh, Brussels sprouts. So if you went ahead and take, take this and put it into uh, your baking dish, it's not gonna thicken up in the oven. Okay, so you do want to simmer it until you get that sauce, the, the thickness you want. So you'll see, I don't know if you can see or not, see how it's simmering down there? So I want to just simmer it until it gets a little thick. It's already getting a little thicker than it was. And you can add more or less depending on how creamy you want your Brussels sprouts. I actually think I'm about done. So I am going to go ahead and add my next ingredients, which are a little bit of mozzarella, just a little bit of mozzarella. I'm going to add my bacon back in the pan. So I crunched or uh, crushed up or cut up some bacon. We're gonna start this up really good. I am gonna go ahead and put a little bit more salt and pepper because I like my vegetables really good and salted. Uh, this is Redmond's Real Salt. You want a really good pink Himalayan salt. You guys know that already. A little bit more pepper because I love pepper. And I'm gonna do a little bit more garlic because I love garlic. Oh, the dogs are having a feast. Daddy Wiles, how about y'all? And we're just going to stir all these ingredients up together. Man, it looks good already. It smells super yummy. So we're just mixing this up. Nobody's telling me what they're doing for dinner, so I guess you guys are just uh, going to hang out at the house and, and have a good, good lazy Monday. This is the day to do it. If you're going to be lazy in the kitchen, this is the day to do it. I would certainly do it too if I hadn't been lazy all the last few or four or five days. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to get my baking dish out. Now, if you want it uh, creamier, you can always add more heavy cream after you stir these up. And I, you know what? I think I actually do. So let me take that back out. I'm going to put a little bit more heavy cream because I want a little more creamier than this. I can always put this back on the skillet and cook it, or I can stir it up just to loosen it up and see if I want more. You can always add cannot take away. Yes, this looks, this looks heavenly. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in. So I'm just pouring this into my baking dish. I'm trying to do it this way. I'm trying to be, uh, trying to be like a cooking show and I can't do that, y'all. First of all, I'm right-handed. So <laughs> it feels very weird doing it that way. <laughs> this into our baking dish. I don't know if you can see that. So we're just going to um, stir it around. Make sure I get bacon in every bite, of course, because I love my bacon. Super yummy, creamy Parmesan Brussels sprouts. I got a lot of bacon in mine. You can do as much or a little bacon as you want. I like lots of bacon. I did make a mess. All right, and now we're going to top it off with just a little bit more mozzarella. And I honestly would recommend to not stir in the mozzarella. Let's just put it on top. So once you get that creamy consistency you want, just go ahead and put it in your baking sheet. And then put some mozzarella on top of it. And then just a little bit of Parmesan. You don't want tons of Parmesan. Well, that one's not open. Put this one back up. it off with just a little bit of parmesan and then we're going to stick this in the oven and really you're already about halfway cooked these brussels sprouts they're not super soft but they're not brick hard either so we're going to put these in the oven and they're going to be cooking down as this cheese melts All right, 
right, and as simple as that. Now I just gotta clean up the kitchen. <laughs> so it's one of my favorite easy side dishes. All you have to do is cook up that bacon, get your Brussels sprouts cut and ready, uh, get that bacon grease and your butter hot and sizzling, throw those Brussels sprouts in, salt them, pepper them, put some garlic in there. Um, once they cook about five or seven minutes, then add your heavy cream, uh, just a little at a time until you get that good soupy, creamy mixture you want. You can always add more, you can't take back. And then once that uh, cream is, is where you want it, pour it into, or get your bacon back in there, put your bacon on there, uh, stir it, put it in your um, bacon dish, stir it up, put some mozzarella, Parmesan, stick in the oven, let it cook. Good and delicious. All right, guys, I know I went over that really quickly. Me and my husband have some business to talk about, so I've got to get off here. I hope you have an awesome night. If I can help you in any way, just send me a message, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.